your obligations. It's better than that. This LaGreca family reunion is brought to you by Pajamagram. My brother David is here. How are you, sir? I actually thought you were going to say something else. Oh, the sponsors. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of different sponsors we could have had, but that one. But listen, they are a real legit sponsor, so let's give them some love. How are you, sir? I am just I just appreciate you having me on. Thanks. It's good seeing you, buddy. Especially with Dan. How like, are if you? it was Peter, I would understand because Peter loves wrestling and he loves my show. Dan could care less. I'm not a big wrestling guy. So this is a big deal for me that uh, I get to sit right next to Dan Grasso. But the great know, Dan. I'm a big Dave guy though. So you I got mean, a lot to promote you know, and I figure this is a perfect time to have you on. To I appreciate it cuz all this Aaron Rodgers stuff. You guys got a lot to talk about today and the fact that you fit me in. I'm very appreciative. How's your Achilles? So, so far, so good, good. Dan, yeah. but I'm not asked to do everything that Aaron Rodgers needs to do. That's true. He has so, to do more. That's true. Though I am a fan of Pat McAfee, so glad that you do that. Uh, he's Aaron a big Rogers wrestling guy. Pat's huge. He's wrestled. Yeah. At WrestleMania. What number are they up to at WrestleMania? The one coming up is 40. WrestleMania 40. And where's that one? It's going to be uh, Eagle Stadium. Oh, Two close. nights. Two nights. The link. The link, if you will. For, that's great. From the Garden to now, you know, major well, the, football stadiums. You're talking stadiums. about the first one. Right. The first one, yeah. You know, it's f I had that on tape on uh, Beta, I think, back in the day. Really? Oh, sure. I remember. I think I stayed with it till about four or five. All right, we, Dan, I'm here, we're yeah. here to talk about me. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're talking about rest. <laughs> I got a lot going on, Dan. <laughs> and uh, you, got, you got the rest of the show to talk. I only get this 10-minute window to talk to my brother. I brought you think up WrestleMania. my brother calls me when the show's over? Absolutely not. It's the most I've talked to Don The only in time I talk to months. him is when I'm driving home. Yeah, but not for nothing. I mean, you could pick up the phone and call him. He it works both ways. It's a good point. Right? A very good point, Dan. Thank you. We're very busy. A lot of traveling. Sure. And he's got stuff to promote. Thank you. I appreciate you having me on. I know that uh, you do guys do a lot of wrestling. I know the mainstream sports fan gets very upset very when you talk upset. to a Charlotte Flair or Cody Rhodes. Yeah, but they want to kill us. It, listen, the numbers go up when you talk to the professional wrestlers. They do. Yes. But it aggravates our normal, everyday listeners because they, you know, they don't understand why we talk. Oh, come on. Anybody that watched that Monday Night Football game last night understands the NFL is predetermined. It's not like this is oh, actually... Oh, do tell. Uh, come on. Do tell. Please. Are you still as big into the football? As you used to be? I'm a cowboy fan, you know that. But as big as I used to be, I got a lot of... You were in, like, nuts yes, with the I Cowboys. Yes, I was nuts. But I'm you're still not that nuts, guy anymore. But I'm not that guy anymore. Still watch every game. Intently. Tony Romo throwing the interception against the Giants in the playoffs at home kind of broke me. Yeah. They broke yeah. it. It broke It's been a while, man. Yeah. I mean, for a team that rattled off championship after championship, we're, we're talking 25 years, man. Yeah. It's well, pretty more crazy. More than 25 years. What, three playoff wins since that 90, 95 season? I was talking about that with somebody the other day about the Cowboys. Because, like, we're, you know, of a certain age. Like, and if you were around in the, in the 80s, the 90s, you know, like, everybody and their mother was a Cowboy fan, especially when they were winning in the 90s. Yeah. Nowadays, like, if you talk to young kids, they're not Cowboy fans. They're not the bandwagon team anymore. That team, believe it or not, is the Patriots. Right. And well, the Patriots now entering a downward slope, which I, I, I could care less about, but, you know. The Jets, though, Dan. I feel for you, man. I feel for you. I don't play the games. I get it. But you do a great job before and after. and gets me excited about it, so you do a great job with that. So you listen to the, you listen to the Jets stuff. <laughs> I, and then, I don't you, watch. then you watch. I don't watch. You just watch the Cowboys. You just, you're like, I got to listen to Jets pregame. What are you going to do for the game? Well, I'm going to watch the Cowboys. On. And then when the Cowboys are over, I'm going to listen to what happened with the Cross Jets game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. No, but the reason there's a lot of Patriot fans is the same reason why there used to be a lot of Cowboy right, fans. They is won. Because they won. For 20 years. A lot. You know, and you start to see the Packers kind of bubble up, too, during Favre and, and early Rodgers when they were, you know, competing for a championship all the time. So, listen, there's a lot of fans like I that. I hate saying this, but I almost feel like America's team is now the Steelers. It feels like the Steelers fan base travels I, more I, than the Cowboys It, it feels like that, although I think the Steelers are right now starting to feel it. Tom yeah. LeMay loses his job at the end of the season. They're not perennial winners anymore. Yeah, like man, that been. would be if they do that, though. Like, the grass ain't always greener. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've been relevant since this guy's been the coach for, what, almost 20 years. And if they're going to just bring in somebody else it. and think the Steeler magic is going to take over, the guy's never had a losing season. I understand, but this has been a rough one. But you know what happened? You don't have a quarterback. Hey, amen. Yeah. You don't have a quarterback. You probably didn't have him, and then he turns around and gets hurt. So good luck finding another one. But 
What are you uh, promoting? You've got a couple of things on the table to Glad promote. Glad you did your homework. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, I, but he but, can't promote and we can't promote. Why, just let me, better let me, than wait a minute. Don't tell me how to do, wait a minute. Don't tell me how to do radio because why have you on? If I'm, if I'm going to be the one to say it, I'm just then what are you just going to go, Listen, yes, that's I, a great point, I, I started off the segment saying I appreciate you putting me on. Right, so speak. Tomorrow. As you guys know, Busted Open, I host Busted Open on SiriusXM, also the podcast as well. We're going to stream live on YouTube. We have our year-end award show. We're going to be streaming live on YouTube, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on YouTube. First time we've ever done it. Okay. Never streamed live on YouTube before. It's going to crush everything that Sirius has ever done. Really, the only reason I have Sirius is for music and Dave. I appreciate you saying that. It is true. I keep the lights <laughs> on in the building. It's I am a, the glue that's holding it, it all is. together, Don. Uh, but myself, Bully Ray, Mark Henry, Tommy Dreamer. Love it. Uh, we're going to be live. A bunch of guests. It's going to be great. we have uh, actually going to have an audience a lot of the nation is going to be there as well. So make sure, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Busted Open YouTube page and check out our live stream at 5 p.m. tomorrow. I'm so. proud of him and how far that show has Thanks, come. Dan. Oh, because I, like, I, I remember, it. like, in the very beginning, like, it was a struggle. And, and there was, oh, my, oh, like, Dan, you know what I'm saying? Walking, talking zombies that litter the hallways. I'm sure they do it here. The non believers, the people that pat you on the back and say, you know what, you're doing a great right. job, but they don't even support you. Right. A lot of that, but they're on board days. now. They're on board now. New regime. It changed the hearts yeah, and minds. Absolutely. So, there, was, yeah. there was tepid enthusiasm yeah. at the very beginning, and I remember the struggle it was. Because. And as your audience, let's, let's waste a bunch of money on national sports guys. And why? Why who get into wrestling? And then David walked in and just pulverized all of them. But I think it's because wrestling Not now. Though. A lot of people who too. grew You've up. Seen these people. A lot of people who grew up watching wrestling. Dan and Don are now those decision makers. So it's not that guilty pleasure anymore. It's a it's a bit of a mainstream form of entertainment. And Don, all joking aside, thank you for all the support throughout the years because I appreciate well, you. Well, yeah, it's the least you could do for uh, a sibling. I love you. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm no, proud I'm of you. Not, listen, the fact that, the he, that, that, that he has become a, a national figure, the next thing he's going to promote is going to prove that. I love it. Yeah, and I and I wanted to ask you a question once I promote it. Do I it. will be doing a show at the Gramercy Theater right here in New York City, February 10th. Tickets are on sale right now. Go to Ticketmaster.com. Again, I have a bunch of guests. Uh, WWE Hall of Famer Mark Henry, the world's strongest man. WWE Hall of Famer Bully Ray. Uh, Tommy Dreamer, uh, the innovator of violence. Tasha Steeles from TNA. Uh, and Don, I want you to be a guest at my show as well. Because growing up with me, not being a wrestling fan, uh, I would love for you to be there. And experience it, and also a little bit of back and forth on why you don't like wrestling. And what it was like growing up with me as a wrestling fan. And the the moments and the memories and the games that you missed because of professional There's wrestling. There's so many stories. Yeah, so there, we, I want you to share those to that stories. Show. And I want, it, I want some of the fans of you to come out to the Gramercy. So that's February 10th, Ticketmaster. I will be there. Thank you. I will be there and participate. I've got, I, I, I can think of three stories off the top of my head. Tell them. Well, then that would take away from the show. How long is the story? What are you, Hans Christian Andersen? Tell a damn story. Oh, I'll tell you one Four quick. Minutes. July 5th. I'm going to tell you one Thank quick. You. July 15th, 1984. It's my birthday. We're going into Meadowlands to see Roddy Piper against Jimmy Superfly Snuka. My brother kicking and screaming went because he wanted to watch, what was it, the second USFL championship game. It was. It was a big deal for me. <laughs> yeah. Right. And he, I'm like, not proud put of it. up. I'm not proud of it, but at like the time. A, like a child. <laughs> like, oh. Screaming and crying. About mommy, how you get I'm it. the one to go. I don't want to go to see the wrestling. Mommy, please, no. He wanted to watch the USFL championship game. Which so, I eventually got on VHS. Who won yes. that one, by the way? Uh, I believe the Michigan Panthers. Not the Houston Gamblers? I got to go back and check. No, 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 whatever. Who cares? Anyway. But, so, yeah. So that was definitely one of the stories. But, but did, I, did you have a good time at the wrestling despite his reluctance? Of course. Yeah. And here I am. We, think about it. You, we're like the Mannings of radio, my brother and I. We're, we're living the dream. We're Who's going Eli? on the air. We're talking about it. Who's Eli? <laughs> listen, he's Eli. I, I, All right? you know I mean, what? Listen, I love him to death. He's Eli. Uh, In every as, way, shape, or form, yeah, he's Eli. Not as talented. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do with what you got. Kind of the goofy face. 
shouldn't really be here. But, but, you, but somehow, you beat the Patriots twice. Yeah, right? Right. exactly. That's what he was killing. Something my brother ground. couldn't do. When he beat the Patriots, I was in the I was I was in the suite Yay! sharing a mile with mom. Yay! He did it. He did it. But I'm paid. <sighs> That's okay. You can accept that, right? The, the other one, I get to take David to wrestling at the Meadowlands. My dad can't take him because he had shift work working at PSC and G. And I'm going to drive him and one of his yo-yo friends, and every one of them were yo-yos, <laughs> to drive him to the Meadowlands. So you were and licensed, and dad, that's why. Yeah. My father gives him money to go buy some merch. Yeah. And this is WWF time, right? We go to the wrestling. Can't tell you anything that happened in it because mm. it wasn't my thing. He buys a hat. WWF hat. WWF hat. Probably my father's hard back money. in the day, right? Probably some. <laughs> my brother wants to see. I don't know why. Yeah. Because I didn't see him drink. I don't know what was going on. We're driving down 17 no, North to go home. Let me see how long the hat can stay on my head <laughs> when I stick it out the window. It Answer seemed like is a good idea not at the long. time. <laughs> So I tried to go back, walk in the shoulder at 17 North, somewhere like in East Rutherford. What time of year is this? The hat. What time of year is this? I have no it idea. It was in the winter. That's the what winter. it means. So, like, your head out so of it goes 100 degrees. <laughs> There's that old, I can understand it was hot. But you got to stick my head out though. the window. Tall boys were cheap at the Brendan Byrne Arena. You got to understand I, that. I think blaming it on alcohol <laughs> is not the, not the way you want to so go. So it was an alcohol-induced stunt is what you were saying. That's how the whole thing played no, out. No, I just think he's a yo-yo sometimes, hey, trying am. to show off to his buddies, uh, and I he lost the hat. I'm a yo-yo. There's no doubt about it. Was it There's one of those trucker hats, like with the mesh or whatever? It was, it was exactly oh. that. It was the mesh on those the back. Those are coming back, by the way. I those know. are popular now. I'm a big fan, Dan. I'm a big fan. Boy, I wish I had that hat. This is, of, of course, you know what? like 37 years so ago. Probably you still got the story, bucks. though. You yeah. still got the story. Yeah. The story is worth and it, And you though. can hear those stories at the Gramercy Theater, February right. 10th. Go to Ticketmaster.com. And it's not like a stand-up routine. He's not going to tell the same jokes at every stop along no, the way. There's going to be new stories, new things, new plus everything. seeing it live is going to just add oh, yeah. a little bit. He might actually show a demonstration. We'll get like a, you know, we'll make it like the Carol Burnett show. We'll come out with like some kind of mock car. I'll stick <laughs> and Don owes it to me because he didn't go to my Hall of Fame. I went to the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. Didn't come. Nobody in my family came, by the way. So it's the <laughs> least that you can do is show up to my it show at the Gramercy Theater. It's an orbit two hours away. I, it, it, listen, I got kids. Conveniently. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Dan. If Don was going into the Hall of Fame and it was in California, I'd find a way no, to get I don't there. Think you would. Two hours away. Wait, your GPS no. wasn't working? No, the way he said it, though, just the, 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 the most matter of fact answer, I turned my head. This is the first time hearing of it. I turned my head and he says, he goes, it was in Albany. Yeah, <laughs> it, was in Albany. <laughs> it might have been, it might have been in like Botswana, the way he right. said Albany. It's in yeah. Albany. Tangiers. Yeah. <laughs> Hang out. Congratulations take... on that, by the way. Thank you. All right, we're going to take some phone calls. Yeah. Can't wait. So buy the tickets now. That's right. Where do you buy the tickets? Tell people where they can buy them. I've... You Otherwise, you just like buy any I said tickets, it four anything. times. Ticketmaster.com. Yeah, but you said wrestling a lot in a short period of time, and I zoned out. <laughs> he did. At least you're honest. He was like, honest. Yeah, That's yeah, all yeah, I heard. Yeah, it was like, like Charlie Brown's every, teacher. Every wrestling reference yeah. was like a, a hook to the tent. It was like, it was like, wrong, 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 wrestling, wrong, 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 wrestling. And I'm just like, I'm in love. It's kind of like when point. I listened to your pregame with the Jets. <laughs> no, um, see, I know so, that's not true, because you said it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. But so which I, one's the lie? I, I really quick, I think I want to do something physical with Don, like maybe have one of the wrestlers put Don through a table, Kind of chop him a little bit. I'm thinking about some kind of angle. Yeah. Why don't you get an illusionist? Don. You could do that. Put him through a table, saw him in half. Or <laughs> I don't think that's right. That's... God, I would love to put Dan through a table. Yeah. What? Just, what did I do to you? Uh, Jeez. Here a little yeah. bit. A little bit much. Yeah. You, you, you can be bit, a bit much. <laughs> well, a that, bit that's much. fine. You know. I'm happy with who I am. I, well, that's you want me to give you the Del Griffith, the the Del Griffith speech from uh, Planes, Trains, no, and Automobiles? No. All right. Then, tomorrow, 5 p.m., YouTube, and then uh, February 10th. Gramercy Theater. Looking forward to it. That was the LaGreca Family Reunion brought to you by Pajama Graham Soft Silk. A best oh, get your tickets now. Christmas <laughs> gift for her. Get a free $75 nightie with naturally nude pajamas oh, nice. from pajamagram.com. I never had to read that spot with a, a guy that I actually shared a room with for the first 13 years of my life. Then I moved downstairs. Couldn't take it anymore. Then he started sneaking out, and it was a whole big deal. Yeah, and it was one of many marriages. Oh. The one I have now with Violetta, though, the best. Violetta, yeah. I have the best wife ever. I would give you the number of charm, but I don't. Yeah, it's not for public consumption. <laughs>
Well, he said many. All right. Many can mean anything. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just, we, we don't want to really put a number on it. It's Don. It's Dan. It's Dave. Maury calls one 800 3776 We're on Yes and 9870 ESPN. Show take up till six thirty. Then it's Rangers hockey. One eight hundred nine one nine three seven seven six. Dave's gonna hang till four. Gary Myers is coming in. Talk some football with him in studio. It's probably Let's, hang till later, given all that you pay well, for. You can do uh, whatever. Yeah, try to get car. Right. Every Might as well get your money's worth. Sixty five bucks. You can you can you can land an aircraft carrier in front of the building, but you. Uh, <laughs> you decided, sound like the mayor. Right. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going there. Rookie no, I mean, mistake. Why? I mean, everybody knows. I mean, what are you, uh, what are you doing? It's. Well, I agree. I mean, what are you doing? Did he was you watching did you, a little too did many you hear Sean about McDermott? this? No. Uh, so, uh, Mayor Adams. We got the audio, Anthony. Do we have I mean, the audio? I mean, the whole world is. It was on. No, everybody's heard Channel it, right? Except 11. my brother. My brother's doing a wrestling show, so he was on another planet. But, so he's asked in a, a televised interview. To describe 2023 in one word. And his answer was New York. Two words. Which is two words and really doesn't define 2023. And he said, New York's the type of place where one day a plane can fly into the Twin Towers and the next day somebody can open a new business and, and celebrate that. Those two are Hello? I would say. <laughs> Hello? So, you know, Adams heard what McDermott said and said, you know, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Sean McDermott coaches the Bills. I'm not I know trying to be, I know, I'm not I trying to be overly now. political. <laughs> he saw my eyes. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Woo-hoo." laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> Two of your Super Bowl rings came against those That's guys. True. That's right. Yeah. So, anyway, what are you thinking? Uh, Honestly, and I'm not trying to get overly political. I'm just, I'm just analyzing as it comes. How do you think that's a good idea? I understand it was 22 years ago. But it's that, so the first thing you want to describe in one word, New York, and then explain in New York. Yeah, one day the, the, the Twin Towers can fall. And, you know, next day there could be an earthquake, and you know, the next day you get mugged in a subway, and then the next day, hey, somebody opens up a bodega and they celebrate it. Yay! Those are going to be part of the video clips for the I Love New York tourism God, ad I mean, for 2024. Come to New York, you get all this and more. Well, unbelievable, man. Left you flabbergasted. Look, it's you have, terrible. You know, I mean, I don't even know what to say. No, there's nothing to say. Just don't speak. Well, it's kind of hard when you're the mayor of New York not to speak. If they advise you not to speak, but, it's but probably not a good thing. But when you ask a question and say in one word to describe something, and you give two words right there. Right, Maybe sh- bust it open live tour. Give me one word to describe it. Amazing. Right. That's, see, that's how see, you answer right off the question. top of my head. I right. One word. One show, somebody can have a seizure on the air. The other show, you might be able to actually break some news. Well, that can happen, too. But that's if you ask me to say a paragraph. David in Little Falls, you're on ESPN New York. How are you, David? Good afternoon, fellas. Hey, Good, David. man. How you doing, all right? Hey, you know, your your guy's name has a great ring to it. If you were to promote some type of show or something like that, the three Ds, I mean, it's awesome. The way it, it just rolls off the tongue. Just thought I'd point that out. Triple D. Triple D. Triple D. Yeah. Hey, listen. Yeah. It's, it's, it's way, my, my favorite is, place to go when I was 18 was Triple D's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when the Meadowlands oh. Arena was closed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, David? Yeah, what um. I got is, you know, I'm getting Aaron Rodgers fatigue, fellas. I mean, it's, it's getting old. Everything has to be channeled through him about our season this year and even next year. It, it is frustrating to me. Um, I don't think he's earned that yet. I understand that injury was severe, but for him to be the barometer or the uh, the mediator between everything that we're going to do as an organization, and he's got to put his stamp well, of approval, is getting old I, and tires. I, I, I and, hear. And he might... I hear what you're saying, David. But but here's the deal. It, it, it there's no way around it. What has Joe Douglas done? What has Robert Sala done? What has Woody Johnson done? Aaron Rodgers only has one Super Bowl, but he's going to the Hall of Fame, and he forfeited, what, $75 million off of his contract to be able to have a say in who comes in here. He gives you the best chance to win. So whether you like it or not, he's going to have a say. We live in a world, guys, where Hal Steinbrenner, 
actually said about getting together with Aaron Judge on what to do moving forward with the team. Why? Because you gave the guy a 10-year contract. That's just what happens. Players now are a part of the process. And when that guy is the only one that's won anything in the entire building, don't you think that's a guy that's going to have a major, major say and should have a major sh a Absolutely. say? Absolutely. Him and Thomas Morstead. One of the couple of guys who has a ring on this but, team. But, you know, but listen, I know. no offense to anybody that might have won a ring. They're not Aaron Rodgers. Of course. Hasn't this always happened in sports, though? Not, not to this extent, because there was a time where general managers and, and, and head coaches were kind of on the same plane financially. But now that you're throwing tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of million dollars into contracts, and these guys have, have more shelf life than you do, I mean, you go through coaches like tissues in the NFL, right? You're lucky if you last two and a half, three years. But some of these quarterbacks, hey, if you get the right one, he could be your quarterback for the next 15 years. Who do you think is going to have to say? Who's going to have the staying power? Now, Justin's in New Jersey. You're on ESPN New York. What's up, Justin? Hey, guys. How we doing today? What's up, baby? So I'm calling on the Devils, actually. I wanted to see, is it starting to get late early with them? I know there's a still a long time, but it seems like we're struggling, especially... Timo and the uh, the goaltending. The goaltending is a mess, and here's the problem, Justin. Everybody now needs a goaltender, so they're going to have to mm -hmm. really go out and try to get one. I think they can make the playoffs, but this whole idea that they're on the cusp of winning a Stanley Cup, Ham you know, Dougie Hamilton might be done for the year. Yeah, you know, so they're going to need a defenseman. They're going to need a goaltender before you can even start talking about them being up there with the Rangers and the Bruins to win a Stanley Cup. Now, can they make the playoffs? Can they right the ship? Listen, they're going to score goals. But you've got to stop goals in the playoffs. And if you've got problems on the blue line, you've got problems with your goaltending, you've got problems you're not going to be able to get up from. That was disappointing, the Anaheim game. I know it was the tail end of a back-to-back, -back, but Adam Henrique, his first ever hat trick. I'm surprised. Of all places, like in that building, yeah. right? Crazy. Yeah, they got issues. David, I love you like no other. Love you, too. This was, was so fun. Thank you for having me. Amazingly proud of everything that you're doing. I really am. Ah, thank you. Promote one more time. Where do people get tickets? Yeah, thank you very much, Dan. Tomorrow, again, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, streaming live on YouTube, Busted Open. Go to the Busted Open YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification key. And then on February 10th, amazing list of Hall of Fame guests. Tommy Dreamer, Bully Ray, Mark Henry, Tasha Steeles, Don LaGreca will be there as well. That's February 10th at the Gramercy Theater. Go to Ticketmaster.com for tickets. All right. Love you, man. Love you, too. Thank you. Gary Myers up next here on Yes to 98.7 ESPN New York.